We had some great progress in building out a new feature for the Compass app. It really helped users plan out their dream vacation with just plain text. I've been stumped on how to spend my time off this year. I can finally outsource my stress on deciding on how to best relax. I'm really excited for this feature as well. We're going to take our KPIs to the moon. Quickly iterating with GenKit, we've gotten our prompt to a great spot to be able to get consistent and reliable results. Let's dive right in. Here's our GenKit flow that the team has been working on. Really happy with the results. It's time for the world to see it. Let's get it wired up into our Next.js application and ship it. I've already worked with the designers and mocked our new UI and some React components. Let's pull the initial state to a new page. First, we'll create a server action where we can call our GenKit flow. Since we're using the Next.js app router, any async function that we expose from our component will be turned into an API endpoint that we can call from our front end. Let's give that a shot. Nothing like a good old console log to make sure everything's working. OK, seems to be streaming our responses correctly. Let's go ahead and pass the state back to our component, iterate, and pass these props. Great. All I need to do now is, I assume, run Firebase deploy? Not quite. It's actually a lot easier. Since this is a full stack Next.js application now that server actions and GenKit are in the mix, we're going to use Firebase app hosting, which has continuous deployment. I've already gone ahead and wired our main branch to automatically deploy to our dog food environment. So all I need to do is push this change to our GitHub repo, and our pipeline will build, test, and deploy the feature to the new environment. Oh, nice. This is going to take a few minutes. All right, and uh, it's, it's live. Looks great. But you know, I don't know what to pack. Do I need some sunscreen, a jacket, any way we can wire up a weather report? <laughs> it's always one more feature with product managers. I know Alex was working on that. I'll check in with him to see where we're at with tool calling and our designers for the UI. Let's put it on the backlog for now. Sounds good to me. Great. Using GenKit flows from our Next.js code base is super easy, as React server actions allow us to call backend code from our front end at a moment's notice. App hosting deploys both our front and back end together on Cloud Run as a monolith. If we weren't using a meta framework like Next.js, or we wanted to break into microservices for whatever reason, we could always deploy our GenKit flow to Cloud Functions as a standalone back end. In fact, if we deployed our GenKit flow to a callable cloud function, that would be a big help for our colleagues building the native application. Now it sounds like you have something to add to the backlog, James. Well, whether it's creating a vacation app to plan your dream getaway or making an app to intelligently prioritize backlogs, Firebase is here for you to make them come to life. Check out our documentation to get started with GenKit and app hosting today before we get to this backlog app. Now that our GenKit flow is out in production, we're going to need some monitoring. But Melissa will cover our bases there in another Demo Day video. That's all we have for you today. Thanks for tuning in. And as always, happy coding.